I feel like this day is gonna be better than my wedding day, honestly. <laughs> Fashion week to me is honestly, I think it's gonna be some craziness, some avant-garde shit. I'm just like this girl from Texas that has never been to a fashion show in my life. Are they just gonna like reject me? We planned three weeks in advance what we were gonna wear because we were like, we gotta get this right. We gotta get this down. I bought a dress. It was $111. It was supposed to be 84, but I clicked it at midnight and the sale went away. <laughs> I still bought the dress. We can go back to LA and be like, actually wear this color. You know what, it, let's just go, let's do it. You said f I did. I did. She doesn't cuss. Is this in New York? Yeah! <laughs> fashion, here we come. On Friday, I wanted to go for a chic, high fashion look, so I slicked back my hair, I put it in a low ponytail, I wore a choker. I wore pastel pink pants that were kind of flowy. And then some strappy shoes that were not the comfiest, but <laughs> fashion. <laughs> I decided to wear like a floor length gown and it was all black and it had a cape on it. It was amazing. <laughs> and then I wore these black shoes that said on them. Fashion. Fashion. <laughs> We're headed to Nicole Miller right now. Woo! Hoping that it's like a free, fun place and that it's not like ritzy and like meh. Show your bling, Jazz. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Is that the noise bling makes? Yep. So we arrived to this show and it's already feeling super chaotic. We're in. I honestly was not expecting like what it is. Five people have already like looked me up and down critiquing my yeah. outfit. Two things. One, I saw one of my favorite actresses from Orange is the New Black. She's my favorite. Two, I also saw a rich kid from Beverly Hills that I've also seen in Beverly Hills. But that's the update so far. So we're waiting in line for the show for like a good hour. They finally let us through and the show's about to start in literally one minute. Literally. And there's about 50 or so people behind us still, yet they just closed the doors in front of them. We were the last like maybe 10 people to get in and then they were just like Here. can you imagine waiting in line for like two hours and then not getting in oh i spent so much money on that dress The first show had a lot of like different really cool patterns. It was very colorful, it's very preppy. It was cute. No, it was all right. We did it! Woo! First fashion show down. Oh, yeah. I think the biggest thing we both realized is that like so much goes into it for literally a five minute show. Five minutes. It's chaos getting there, you're in traffic, you're trying to find your spot, and you... then you sit down, it starts, it's five minutes long, and then you leave and you go to the next and one. And that's it. <laughs> At the Tadashi fashion show, we just realized that this was gonna be all gowns. Yes. So this is gonna be cool. I think I just took a picture I don't of it. I don't know what the f it was. Okay. When we got there, we actually had our own seats, so I felt super VIP. They also had a brochure of the show that told you all the looks that were gonna be coming down the runway. We're on the runway. We're on the runway. Okay. Work, 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 work. You know this is gonna be a good show because the music is slightly scary. But when it started, there was this cool, crazy animation. It was kind of trippy. It was like a tiger hanging on to like an elephant. It was saying something with like interconnectivity and just like all being sound and on the same level and just like chilling. It was really cool. I liked it. I didn't get any of that from that video. Exactly. Then the gowns came out. were so vibrant. All the gowns had just such a beautiful structure to them. Like these looked like just like little masterpieces <laughs> yeah. walking around. It started raining. Fashion show rain. But that fashion show, Tadashi, you know your shit. So we just got back from our first two fashion shows. Nicole Miller, it was mainly the same um, ethnicity, which is white. The Tadashi show had at least like three to four women of color, so that was nice. Something we were not used to all around in both these shows was yeah. the fact of just like 
seeing these models' bodies in real life. These high, high fashion models, their job is to sell the clothes and not themselves. Just become literally a walking mannequin. Outside of high fashion, I yeah. feel like our society is trying to make these huge strives into like curves, blah, 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 love yourself. And then we go to these high fashion shows and it's like, whoa. This is another club. Now we're gonna eat Thai sushi and go to bed. My season day. Good morning and welcome to our second day of fashion shows. Woo! We're at the BuzzFeed New York office. And we're taking all their snacks. I personally was excited for Sunday because this is my shit. Street style weird concepts like, oh. I decided to throw it back to a little Missy Elliott. Wicka, wicka. Literally a pink velvet jumpsuit with a hat and some tennis shoes. And I'm not ashamed to say that I rocked the f out of that. So I decided to stay with the whole chic trend that I was going for through fashion week. And I slicked my hair back, but I kept it down. I um, had a really light blue blazer and I had black trousers. And then I just wore tennis shoes because it was more like casual street style and really comfortable. Today we're going to the Hood by Air fashion show, which I'm so excited for because this is like really cool street style. Rihanna just wore it. I'm dying if I see her. I can't believe my life right now. Yeah, we didn't see Rihanna. What was different about these shows for us is that we were going behind the scenes instead of just attending the show. We got to meet the creative director that basically explained the hair and makeup looks. They were literally like smearing Vaseline and it was inspired by like kids going and getting like messy and their parents stuff. And it was also supposed to be like a little bit of like weird back of the woods shit going on too. Like the thought process, like what is going on, the actual looks, like it is all absolutely crazy. And all the models are so sweet and nice and like just want to talk. So that's really nice. <laughs> We were just walking down the runway and Whoopi Goldberg was next to me and all of a sudden Jaden Smith walks in and then it was Naomi Campbell yeah. and I was like, hey girl. I did not say hey to her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen, that didn't happen. We saw Tiana Taylor. I was in the background with a picture that I didn't know about. So when the show started, it was some trippy like music oh. that sounded like it was in reverse. This is great. gonna be weird. The fashions in this show, we're so cool. I think knowing what we knew from the creative director backstage and what their vision was like and seeing it go onto the runway was like an amazing experience because we could see how the adolescent childhood theme transferred into how they were walking. One guy had like a pout on his face oh. as if he had just gotten in trouble. He was my favorite. Literally was like, and I liked it because like, even though we knew the background story to everything, we were still like, what the f are we watching? I actually literally cried and had to make sure that my eyeliner was not running down my face. It got to the point where I was like, this is beyond fashion. This is an art piece. I feel so honored to have like gone to this. It's amazing. So we got in there and it was cool because it was all just like mixed match of everything. Like nothing was supposed to feel fluid. Not the gender, not uh, the race, not the hair, n not the colors. Everything was supposed to be mixed. It was sick, it was so cool. When the show started, there was a performance, like a pre-show. What we realized later, that this is called like Gypsy Sport, and it opened with like almost a halftime performance. Get it, Sport, get it. Gypsy Sport. Instead of the models walking out to just music, they had these two presenters that were basically commenting on the styles as they walked by. And there was also this really cool mix of colors. They were all just colors you wouldn't be like, yeah, those go together. And they still kind of all like flowed with each other. Gypsy Sport was awesome it was really cool to see so many people with like different body types and skin types you could connect with any of the models there i'm like so sad it's over i know i can't believe it i thought that i'd be exhausted and like want it to end 
by the end of the week, but I actually had such a good time. My biggest takeaway from New York Fashion Week and being like the people that we are, not 100% in the industry, is to like, if you're gonna go, go and be you. Everyone that attended the shows had their own style. Like there wasn't this common style that we saw everyone wearing, like you are you, dress for you, dress the best way you can, and like that's what's accepted. We'll be ready for you next year. Goodbye, Air 2K17.